All right, this is a fluid mechanics problem, and in here we're going to be dealing with uh, flow rates and the Reynolds number. Okay, in this problem they are talking about the present pumping rate of crude oil through the Alaska pipeline with an inner diameter of 38 inches is 550,000 barrels per day. For this crude oil they also give us at this temperature 60 celsius they give us the density and they give us the viscosity they want us to calculate the reynolds number determine whether this flow is laminar or turbulent and in the second part they want us to find out what does it take to keep the flow laminar what kind of flow rate should we have so uh, in case you don't know what kind of pipeline we're talking about here this is a like a sketch of a pipe and this is my attempt of uh, drawing Alaska's uh, map and it goes from the north part to all the way to the south part so just in case you don't know what this is this is a very big pipeline it's not something small so we're dealing with a huge object so to start let's uh, write up our Reynolds number formula which is right here you can see Reynolds number equals velocity diameter and kinematic viscosity or we can break up kinematic viscosity into density and viscosity and then we have this version of the, our formula since uh, we have these two given probably we should go ahead and work with this version of the formula now the weird part of this problem is that uh, some stuff is given in English units some stuff in is given in metric units so we're gonna have to kind of come to a, uh, the same units in order to solve the problem otherwise we're gonna have errors so let's see if our formula right here do we have everything that we need for it or do we not we have rho mu we have the diameter is given with the velocity that's the only thing that we do not have now, where could we get velocity from? Q is our volume flow rate. Barrels is a weird, uh, strange volume measurement. And day is our time. So volume over time is volume flow rate. So we can recognize that 550,000 barrels per day, that's going to be our Q. And from Q, we know that Q equals velocity times the area, the cross-sectional area. From here we can solve for V and it equals Q over A. Now as we see Q for us is given, it's just in strange units, so we're going to have to go ahead and convert it into something that we can work more easier with. So barrels per day, I'm going to convert the time part first from day to hours to seconds and we're going to have 6.37 barrels per second. Then I'm going to go ahead and convert the barrels to gallons. We're going to have gallons per second. And gallons we can convert to cubic feet. And from there, we're going to arrive to 35.7 cubic feet per second. Now, the area, the cross-sectional area of the pipe where the fluid is flowing, pi over 4, diameter to the square. Now, since I have feet over here, I'm going to change my diameter from inches to feet. That's why we have this 12 over here, 38 over 12. That's going to give me 7.88 feet squared. I'm going to take this value, this value, plug it in here, and find my V. 4.54 feet per second. Now, we arrive to a point where we can see that some of our... Uh, measurements or our values are in English units other ones are in metric so we can go uh, ahead and here I'm gonna keep the density and viscosity in metric and I'm gonna take whatever we found here and convert it to metric so feet per second I'm gonna convert it to meters per second Now we have everything for our formula, so let's go ahead and plug in Reynolds number equals 860 for our density, 
the unit, the velocity that we just found here in metric units to match everything else. We have the diameter, which is 38 inches, but I'm going to go ahead and convert it to meters to match everything else. And our viscosity is given. So there you go. Plug it in, calculate it, and we come up with a Reynolds number that is 287,145. Now, they are also asking us whether this flow with this Reynolds number that we found here is turbulent or laminar. Now we know our number, which describes our flow exactly, so let's take a look what does that mean. If we have a flow where our Reynolds number, I'm going to write it right here, RE, is smaller than 2300, well, this means that the flow is going to be nice and laminar, means it's going to be predictable and slowly mix in. Now, we have when our Reynolds number is between, it is uh, bigger than 2300, but smaller than 4000. This is a transitional area where it can be laminar, but uh, it has outbursts of turbulent motion. Now, the last one, well, let's see how that would be like this, and maybe like this, and then like this. Okay, now, the last one is when our Reynolds number is bigger than 4000. This is when our motion in the fluid, the flow of the fluid, is turbulent. It has eddies in it, it has uh, all kinds of twists and turns. So, since we have no doubt that this number is bigger than 4000, we can go ahead and conclude that... Uh, our flow is turbulent since it's bigger than 4000. Okay, that was the first part. In the second part, they are asking what would be the maximum Q volume flow rate in order to keep the flow of uh, the crude oil in the pipe laminar. Now, here we're going to use again Reynolds number formula right here Reynolds number rho VD over mu. But here we have rho given, since we have to limit it to laminar flow. That means this portion for us in the pipe to keep it laminar less than 2300. So RE for us is going to be 2300. And we need to find V. And from there we are able to find our Q, barrels per day. We have to go back to barrels per day. Now, we have metric stuff and we're going to have to go back to... English units. So, plug in everything that we know in our Reynolds formula. V is what we're looking for, so that's our only unknown. We're going to go ahead and solve for it and find V equals 0 0.011 meters per second. Convert it to English units. And from there, we're going to go back to the formula we used here. Volume flow rate equals V times A. Same thing. Q, we are looking for Q right now, so V times A. V is, we found right here, our area, we calculated up here, so it's the same one. So we're going to take it and use it. There you go, 0 0.284 cubic feet per second. But they want it in barrels per day, like the same way we started. So we're going to have to go ahead and do conversions from cubic feet per second, to gallons per second, to bar barrels per second, and to barrels per day. And we're going to end up with a number of 4,378 barrels per day. And we can see that in order to keep it laminar, this is significantly less than what we had here, 550,000 barrels per day.